shot. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video of the crappy show on the internet. I'm your host, Guy Who Cut Off His Own Nipple to Feed It to the Sharks. And today, we got a juicy topic here today. And do you know what's so juicy about it? Well, remember that Vic Megamind guy? Well, guess what? There's more footage resurfaced. Because you guys remember uh, Monica Rail, that actress, the voice actress that completely slammed Dunk besides uh, Vic's back? Well, like she totally jumped out of the water on Twitter. Like you wouldn't believe. This is what I mean by jumping out of the water. So you guys know this thing called criticism, you know, constructive criticism to say like, hey, you know what? I think this is completely wrong because the evidence is pointing out that Vic is innocent because there's no evidence pointing that he's guilty. What does Monica respond to it instead of saying, well, that's your opinion? No, no, she doesn't say that. She says, thanks for the tweet. I screenshot it and send it to my attorney and law enforcement. I will not be harassed. Have a nice night. She's been copying and pasting that tweet to everyone that's constructively criticizing her. Because before that, she made a tweet saying, freedom of speech does not equal freedom from consequence. Before you choose to harass me, please be aware that I have attorneys and law enforcement involved. We are talking about, we're taking, we are taking all threats, harassments very seriously. Any harassment threats will be screenshot and forward. And then, all the tweets started rolling in, and then she's been copying pasting those replies. Here's an example. This guy replies with, Show us proof, please, please, you ruined the man's life. She replies with, Thanks for the tweet, I've screenshotted it and sent it to my attorney and law enforcement. I will not be harassed, have a nice night. Another person tweeted saying, Freedom of speech does not equal to freedom to ruin people's lives to do false accusations either, Monica. She replies with, Thanks for the tweet, I've screenshotted it and sent it to the attorney, and you know, you, you get it. And here's a tweet that looks just like, just plain innocent, that is not, that doesn't even look like harassing, not even one bit, not even a little bit. It doesn't even sound like anything. And it says, If it's due to bad press, they do, Monica. It's more than likely that when Sony, Funimation's new owner, who bought them last summer, is the one who told them to toss Vic Storm and surrounding him because the false a allegation. Then she replies, with, Thanks for the tweet. You guys know what I'm talking about. And here's one that's just completely constructive criticism against her. Why is it when Monica cries wolf with no evidence, mind you, that everyone automatically assumes the worst? She has known this man for 20 years and only comes forward now that he's getting attention. I would like an actual answer if you could reply. She replies with the greatest reply ever. Thanks for the tweet. I have screenshot it and sent it to my attorney and law enforcement. I will not be harassed. Have a nice night. Wow, good job, Monica. You're threatening anybody who were replies to you. You can literally reply to Monica with a picture of a dog, and then she would be all like, thanks for the tweet. You know what I mean? If someone says a tweet to Monica with just a dog, she would be all like, harassment uh, reported to my attorney, you're gonna get sued. Yeah, you're being criticized. You can't, you're saying you can't criticize someone? Oh, mind you, uh, before this, uh, she made a tweet out saying, like, uh, innocent until proven guilty, that's only in the court of law. Like, lawsuit threats to, like, like, like teenagers and or adults or whoever has a Twitter account. Anybody with a Twitter account. If you even say hi, you're getting a lawsuit, apparently. She can't take criticism very well. If you criticize her, you'll get sued, apparently. Now it's time to see this resurfaced footage of Vic and Monica interacting with each other. Because we all know, according to Monica, that Vic is a horrible person. And everything is just bat crap crazy with him. It's so, so... Mm, it's dangerous. He's a dangerous man. So before I show the video, I'm gonna have to credit this person that tweeted him out the information towards me. Her name is Kitu. I stand with Vic. Thank you for Kitu. I appreciate that thing. Look at this tweet. Oh my god, those those pictures of just of Vic and Monica. They're smiling, doing this old old fashioned selfie. And Jordan replies with, "Girl, it's time to call it quits. You absolutely had no problem working with him on Juni Tressa Nun. If you don't know what that is, it's an anime. I don't know what." It is, so. Let's watch this footage and see how diabolical Vic is. Monica. <laughs> Monica! Come out. Come Come see us. By um, Ian? What? What? I had to be killed by Ian? I know! <laughs> Did I you... just want everybody to know that if this were re real life, I could totally take oh, him. Oh, you totally. Right? Yes, you had him. You had, I. What did you think of the character? I love the character, and that's what makes me sad because it's episode three. I know. <laughs> Can I tell you? I, I cast you because you're amazing, and I thought yeah. you were going to be here the whole time, and I was just as surprised and disappointed as you. But I will say, I've had so much fun working with you. It's been oh, a blast because we've never worked together in this capacity. I know. Which is super, super cool. Well, you were absolutely <laughs> amazing. Well, thank you, thank and you, I thank loved you. it, and you're awesome. I love I you. Love you're you. awesome. I love you. <laughs> Hug me away while we look at your amazing character. Oh my goodness gracious, did you see how 
like uncomfortable they were together. I mean, Vic was just was was so so sexual and and decided to grab Monica. Oh, it's so so devious. And then Monica, you see the fear on Monica's eyes. She was all like, I don't want to be close to this person. And she touched me on my fingertip. It's so it's so sexual. I am shaking in my boots right now. I had to go home and I had temporary PTSD in my brain from thinking about, about hugging, doing a playful hug with Vic for like five seconds. This is what it's like to be oppressed. Oh, not that Middle Eastern women. This is true, true oppression right here. Being voluntarily hugged harmlessly for five seconds. It's so Oh, having a nice conversation with Vic. Oh, it's so, it's so bad. So yeah, let's see how long it takes for Funimation to delete this video off the face of the earth. If that can actually happen. This video is still up on Facebook and we don't know when it's going to be deleted by. So, so I want to say thank you all so much for watching this crappy video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to subscribe and press the bell because blah. Make sure you like and comment because algorithm. Oh yeah, I have a shirt shop, Patreon, and PayPal subscription if you guys want to try it out. And don't forget, I'm saying I don't know, see ya. <laughs>